In today's video, I want to show you how we're going to use conditions in PHP, especially when using the if statement. So let's get started. So I have here a PHP file, and I just want to put in a couple of simple if statements just as an example of what we can do. Now, if you're familiar with programming with almost any language, you're going to find the if statement in PHP very, very simple. So here I have my PHP tag, and before I create the if statement, I'm just going to create a really simple variable that we can test against. So I'm going to say dollar sign $x equals 4. Remember inside of PHP, we don't have to do things like declare a data type. It's similar to Python in that nature. Remember, I do have to put the semicolon at the end. It's similar to C in that nature. Now, you're going to find that PHP is much more similar to C than it is to some other languages, and how that's going to affect us, we're going to show you in an upcoming video. But for right now, I have x equals 4. So I'm just going to create a simple if statement. If x is less than 4, they're going to put curly braces. Anything that's going to happen if x is less than 4 is going to show up in my curly braces. I can say something like echo like that. Now, I can also have an else statement. And an else statement is just like you would find in almost any language. I can put else and then I can have my curly braces. This will be if x is not less than 4, meaning it's greater than or equal to 4. However, I do have one minor change that I can do. If I know I'm going to have a series of if statements with corresponding else statements, I can combine that to say something like else if, and this allows me to automatically go straight into an if statement. So if my first if statement is not true, I can say else, if, and then have a second if statement. So in this case, I'm going to do something like x is greater than 4. Once again, my curly braces are going to follow, and anything I want can go inside of that curly brace. That means I can have loops, I can have regular print statements, I can have other if statements if I need to. Now for simplicity, I'm just going to come over here, copy in that previous text, change it so it's now x is greater than 4. Of course, mathematically, I do have one other option. I can say else. And I don't need to say if x is equal to 4, because if you're not less than 4, you're not greater than 4, then obviously you're equal to 4. And when I load that up, you'll see that x is equal to 4, just as we would expect. Now, I can come back into my file and change it. What happens if x is equal to 7? I save and reload. x is greater than 4. If I make it equal to 2, reload. x is less than 4. So PHP is very, very simple in its if statement and how it's going to work. And anything that you might have, you can normally use. We've seen less than. We've seen greater than. You also have, of course, equality, which is two equal signs less than or equal to, which is a less than and an equal sign, greater than or equal to, which is, of course, greater than and an equal sign next to each other, and not equal. Now, not equal, depending upon what language you come from, is either going to be very familiar to you or very unfamiliar to you. And the not equal is an exclamation point and an equal sign next to each other. So that is not equal. And that's how you're going to use your if condition statement inside of PHP.